that's not it. He's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him, he will take you where you need to go. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? <sighs> of course. Da, 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 da. Da. Hey guys, this is Antonio, and on this episode of Let's Play Bioshock Infinite, I don't know what we're going to do, and I'm probably going to do another intro, because I either record this part because the autosave is really weird and I want to make everything right, and Jesus Christ, that destruction looks awesome. See, the little things in games I never look bad, but you can talk to future Scott about this. I'm going to go uh, to sleep, and Scott, who makes whatever episode this is, can have fun with that. And Elizabeth's all struck by it, too. All right, bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Untitled here, and I already think I did my intro in the previous thing where I had to record this, so let's push this piano and keep on going, because I have no idea where we are in the game, like reference to the end, or like halfway point. Maybe after I come out of this hallway, I'll have a better idea. That's Comstock House. Yeah. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The bots are coming! We need to leave the docks! We need to push off the Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox Populi are. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to figure out. We're back where there's some sort of civilians. I don't know why I just walked by this. I, I really, I feel like a terrible person. I really want to try this, though. I, I wonder what happens. I really want to know what happens. Oh, oh, did they fly away? Oh, okay. <laughs> Does Elizabeth look us like we're an evil demon? I would too. Okay, now she's just sort of like indifferent and she's kind of just, well, probably after that uh, whole Daisy Fitzroy thing, she's kind of just completely out of it and emotionless at this point. But, ah, uh, more senseless murder. What else could you want from a game? And Miniman's Armory, can we get anything good from here? Come on, shotgun or carbine boost. Uh, something for the heater. Shotgun damage boost. Yes, please. And oh, I think there's a carbine damage boost too. It's my lucky day. Oh, cool. And we got the carbine fully upgraded. Do we have a carbine on us? Nope. And we only have, and let me grab that. Thank you. We only have six bullets. This could possibly not go wrong at all. Hello. Oh, nice gentlemen. There doesn't look like there's danger up here. Oh, hey, what's up? That guy looks evil. And is that like new Vox uniforms or something we haven't seen yet? And I would bring the Moss Quido in, but it seems it's better to do that. And any more ammo? Did he drop a gun? He didn't drop a gun. Maybe I should have waited to shoot him. Okay, how are we going to do this? We have five shots. Oh, I got it. Come on, why don't I bring my just undertow out and make it so much easier? Let's just bring... Let's bring the fight to us. And we can only do this like four times, so hopefully there's not that many people in this area. Or we could just pick up the repeater that Gis gave us, and now we can go in and only another repeater over here. That's disappointing. And okay, where's the shots come from? My left. Let's bring in the Moss Quido. And that'll help us out. Can we... No, we can't get the high ground. Oh, jeez, he took that out fast. I'm guessing... Oh, yeah, that's why they're differently uh, dressed. Because they're like the new... Like, you know when you go through a video game, you get the higher up people, sp like these guys with the mask and stuff. I think these are like the high level box. Jesus Christ, that did a lot of damage. So, yeah, it's moving. I think this is the signification that we're moving in the second half. Signification. Signifying. I don't think signification is a word. We're moving into the second half of the game. And thank God the most quitter is back up. I really wish I had a carbine. Jesus Christ. All right about now. And I'm out of shotgun. That's beautiful. Can I go? Yep, that's where they're coming from. Uh, whoa. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, God. Hand cannon lady. Hand cannon lady. No, thank you. Sauce, please. Give me time to recharge. Uh... 
I'll get Shock Jockey so I can get that chain going. Let me miss. Let me miss, miss. I don't want to miss you. Thank you. See, because because she's a lady, so she could refer to a miss if she's not married. But also, I, I didn't hit her. Cause, yeah, hey, hey, anyone? 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 Okay, just me. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Pick up wallet. This is not the time, Booker. Get your priorities straight. And uh, those are volley gun bouncing. That is not fun at all. Oh, more salts that we... I guess we can take them now. Wallet. Oh, Mo Booker, seriously. Come on. Okay, let's try this. Where is he? I don't even know. And I'm just going to take this dude out. Anyone else? Take you out. See, this is just how ridiculous Undertow is. Like, I probably wouldn't have won this fight, especially with how low my health was, if I did not have Undertow here. And let's stop being a wimp with Undertow. What can we do? What can we bring in? Let's charge. Da -da 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 -da! Where is the cover? That's a good idea. Nothing with it. Uh, sometimes you can get like guns laying on the ground or like health stuff with cover. It's nice when you can get it. Oh god. Is that health kits? Oh god. Oh god. That's health kits. I died. See, that's what happens, kids. It's a life lesson for you. When you're careless and you don't try to think about things, you just get murdered for no apparent reason. Most of this area should be a reason. Hey, I guess it gives us more ammo, so. I guess it also teaches you another lesson, kid. If you kill... No, no, I'm not saying that. That's awful. That's completely terrible. And how did I not see that before? Oh, pff, I know you're there. Really? Thanks, Sherlock. It would be... Actually, I was just about to say, it'd really be nice to have a shotgun ammo. And why am I going up so much again? Why am I going up so much again? Okay. Really? You know what the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So let's not try that again. Stop being a dumbass and just get through this area. This really shouldn't be that hard. This is this is starting to get stupid. Okay, let's just be a dumbass. I mean, not be a dumbass. Bye bye. Oh, he's got his helmet thingy. Oh, thanks, Mosquito. Let's just use the power of how overpowered Undertow is and get through everything. Thank you. See. This is why you use Undertow all day, every day, especially when you upgrade it when you can pull in two people at a time. Also, it makes it really easy for looting people. Oh, yeah, and I was playing Fallout with my friend, and I was like, because with this game, you just mash X for everyone you need to loot and stuff. But Fallout, it's A. So every time I went to uh, try to get stuff off dead bodies, I would just, like, randomly uh, unholster my weapon, which kind of got me killed a couple of times. But it's just, like, you get so used to doing things, it's just muscle memory. And there we go. See, that's what it should be like, and I don't want that burst gun. Anything else significant over here? I could... Okay, no, I was about to say I could go back and get some more health. But nope, it looks like we're good, and I believe there's no Voxophones in this area. It seems too wide open, just meant for a fight. And eh, we don't use the burst gun that much. Might as well take it, even though I hate it. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Let me see. What is it about that song that brings in the bird? It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited? He was all I had. Fed me. Bought me books. He was my friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And then I hated him. Because he was my warden. He's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. All done. So I guess that's a really true definition of love-hate relationship, and some tells me that's not pretty. Jesus Christ. What's been saying to him about Comstock? Pushing. Well, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. This is on our hands, isn't it? Uh, uh no, wow, I didn't notice the very obvious Comstock statue. And I believe there's like a weird yeah. I don't understand this. Maybe it's just like to show off tears and stuff and how cool it is. There's just like a weird Vox phone. Uh, not a Vox phone. There's just paint. There's just shotgun ammo and lockpicks up here. Just weird that I, I don't understand the whole tear thing for that. But that is really morbid. And can we use lockpicks over here? Yeah, that's probably why that's there. Oh yeah, you say, nope, not what I meant to do. I just wanted to pick up these little things because I'm dumb. And oh, there's a lockpick there. I couldn't even tell. Jeez, okay, can we, can we just, there we go. Oh, and thank you, Elizabeth. Cats. God, it's so hard to pick up salts. I'm great at this game. And I'm going to guess infusion and voxophone. Definitely voxophone. Uh, I don't want the heater. I probably could have picked up the ammo. There's an infusion. Okay, I'm, I'm one for one. I'll go 888. 
and search trunk. Uh, no elephants back here. And locked door that is annoying and has no point to make that noise when you run up to because you really can't do anything. Anything over on this side? <laughs> now it's one for two. I shouldn't have dreamed big. I should have just went for infusion. And it looks like everything's still shut down here, probably because of the whole giant murder thing where everyone's dying and the scalping in the hallway. I think people and families really just don't appreciate that. You don't go into a nice old movie theater, get some popcorn, and... Oh, battle! Shh! Hey, go charm them, Elizabeth. Is Elizabeth... Are they, like, dumb? Or are they just stupid? And, uh, what do we want to do? Oh, yeah. This is... Nope. Oh god, they found me! The clicking was too loud! This is a Bucking Bronco situation. Oh god. The aim down sight for this is terrible. And wow, that, that duration is really, really long. I gotta use Bunky Bronco more. And look at that chain onto the dead body. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it can be weird like that. I think that's also with electricity too. It just hits the ground. Now I remember. I believe there is a motorized Patriot we can bring in with a tear in this area. If I remember correctly. Also, I feel like we're gonna have a battle. It would be right over there. No one can really see the future, do you? I, I saw something once when, when I first got here. A dream. It was all a dream. New York, larger than any New York I ever saw. It was burning. Hmm. One of the prophet's magic is rubbing off on you. And Booker's talking about in the very beginning of the game where he saw like a burning city that actually looked a lot more like Columbia. And some tells me, oh god, it's Honest Dave. Oh, uh, what could I ask for less? Okay, what we want to do here is we're going to want to possess that, get the hell away, and we need to fight. Okay, in a, a President Deathmatch. I think they used to have something on like MTV where it was like Celebrity Deathmatch. It's a weird thing. I don't know. I like watched it once or twice because I was a goody two shoes and didn't watch all that. That, uh that are uh, inappropriate things when I was in the young ages. But let's see who would win in a presidential battle. Some tells me it's not going to be my guy. And I don't... And actually, uh, I'll actually explain what uh, Honest Abe is. I don't think we've seen the Honest Abe one yet. He's like the second level of motorized Patriots. And come on, take your presidential candidate, even though he looked like I just didn't do anything. It's just because motorized Patriots, once you get that combo down, it's just like the, and I'm comparing it to old weird games that make random reference. It's like the dog thing. I can't think of its exact name in Super Mario 3. If you get that jump combo done, really, really easy. If you screw it up, it can be a real pain in the ass. And I believe that's it for this. Oh, no. Nope. One more guy. Hey, bye. Is that it for the area? And yeah, that motorized Patriot is ridiculous tear. Maybe that's why it's stuck in my memory and I remembered it. And anything in here? Weird writing on roll. Nowhere to hide. So I guess some dude got scalped. Nope. Oh, yep. And shotgun hand cannon. And nope, just hand cannon. Uh, it's got a lot of ammo. Let's take it. And random lock picks that we are way over what we would ever need. And let's just eat all your food of that probably dead guy. Give me something challenging. Oh, and I, I should take some time and look at this. Win the race with speed and grace. Skyline. RJ Pickwick's MFG World's Finest Skyhooks. Move as fast as the devil through heaven. Through the heaven. But isn't the devil that he's, he's in the not heavens? He's in the the hell oh what are those people doing out there and wait is that the people we just saw i just realized who those two are they well at least she invented the technology that allows the city to think giant balloons quantum particles suspended in space time at a fixed height so not giant balloons <laughs> the thing is good old booker they disappeared several years ago i told you they'd come no you didn't going to tell you they come, but you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they come? No. As a junkie? That's not as a junkie. I don't think the syntax has been invented yet. But it has been. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Oh, what are they? The fact that we sometimes finish each other's sentences. Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. Hmm. How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. <laughs> and thank God we finally have their names so I can just stop referring to them as like him and her. The Lutesses are probably, well, yeah, they won, I think they won Best Character of the Year or Characters. They are such 
I love their characters. I also love their theme that always plays when you're near them. Such, it, it, I just love the Lutesses. They're such a great character, and they're so snarky and, like, smart and everything. They, they're everything I wish I could be. And it looks like that this was just sort of like a little interlude area. Stark? Yeah, I think so. Why lock me up? Well, I'm guessing you didn't want to be groomed. Maybe you had something in the works to make you agree. Like what? I think it's best we don't find out. Maybe it's all those siphon stuff that we saw? And I believe I can't tell the song because I don't know the song by myself. I'm pretty sure this is Shiny Happy People by... Shiny Happy People. That's R.E.M. Yeah, I want to say this song is a remix of Shiny Happy People by R.E.M. I'll be quiet, so maybe you can confirm my suspicions. Hmm. I know that song's in the game, and I'm pretty sure it's here, because I remember watching like a video on all the songs within the game, and it was something like this area. I hope I'm correct, and maybe it's not a little interlude area. Oh, just another little skirmish. Oh, maybe I should have just listened to their little bickering, and... Oh, wow, you survived that. You are a trooper, sir. Oh, thanks, I kind of don't need that. I murdered him in cold blood. So, actually, I think we can end this episode off here at the ticketing booth of death. Well, last time we were at a ticketing booth, something crazy that happened. Excuse me, if there's anyone who can hear the sound of my voice. Knocking on a window. Dire times. Have you used your aid? Oh. Oh, no way. That's hilarious, but also terrible. Because all this turmoil is going on. The poor radio guy has nothing to do. He's just chilling in the studio. He's just like, oh, can anyone help me? <laughs> poor guy. So I guess we'll end it off with that poor radio guy. And what time is it? Uh, I can't read these clocks. I only read digital. It is one, one, no, why, but why is... That's the second hand. Why is the if that's one, then why is it so close to already being the next hour? I know Comprende, this is why we all need digital clocks. Nineteen twelve, you're stupid. Don't you agree, Elizabeth? Yeah, see, she's giving me that look. No, or she just give me a look like just end the episode already. People don't give a damn. She's like, oh no, she's getting up in my face now. We ain't doing this, girl. We're saving this for later. So I've been Saves Untitled. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll take care of the stash next time. Mm -hmm.